um, today. This is the Dolls uh, data center from 2006, so uh, a few years ago. But this is more representative of the data centers you see in the uh, public um, PUE data that we're reporting. So uh, we've learned a lot. Um, but what's really interesting and I hope um, useful for the community is that we have built this infrastructure up using these best practices which are so simple that everybody should uh, employ them and you should see good results. Uh, so I'll go through these, this list and then we'll go through a, a case study looking at each of the items here to see um, how they impact the PUE results. So number one, fix cooling first. It's the biggest term in your overhead and it's, um, so it's the, it offers the most opportunity for improvement. And you do that by managing the airflow, separating the hot and cold streams, raising the temperature. So if you raise the temperature of the uh, air coming into your rack, you make it easier to use economizers of all various types. And uh, second is optimize your power distribution scheme by minimizing conversions and using efficient UPS solutions. And then, of course, measure and improve. So we constantly look at the results and try to do better. And there's the summary that I just showed you earlier. We're at 1.16 and uh, you know, the, the typical industry data center uh, has a PUE of 2.0 or maybe like Ken was saying today, maybe it's 1.8. Uh, the more important point is it's you know, a pretty high number. It's getting better, but it's still, there's room for improvement.